Starbucks closed about 8,000 different stores across the country and about, I think it was about 175,000 different employees undertook that, uh, that training, that implicit bias training today. The uh, why not to call the cops on black people for doing nothing training? Exactly. You know, this okay. started when okay. uh, two black men in Philadelphia were arrested for being black in Starbucks. So, um, you know, as part of a uh, agreement or not. Well, that actually wasn't part of the agreement with the two gentlemen. Uh, but the CEO felt it best for all of his, all of his employees to undergo this training. Um, <sighs> Yo, you all, I can already hear <laughs> the, the, I guess the, um, <laughs> I don't know, like the pessimism in your side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, uh, uh, <laughs> my my, uh, my opinion on it is, uh, first of all, sure it's a good idea. Sure, you know, having some training uh, on uh, you know prejudices and biases and you know all all of these different things, stereotypes. Uh, it's very good. Uh, it's not something that. Uh, should just be relegated in the workplace. I mean, we, I mean, th- this is surfaced everywhere. You yeah, know? it's not like, oh, whatever type of biases that you know Starbucks employees have, like internalized in that particular work environment in that particular space yeah. itself. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they they're picking this stuff up from the outside. Right. It's not special tracking, to workplace. They're just they're tracking it into their job. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I I agree that yeah. I mean, it's a good idea. Um, but I don't think, especially not one, you know, one afternoon and, you know, more trainings are due to be scheduled. I don't think there's a, you know, a list of the dates or anything like that. Uh, we don't know if they're going to actually st- close the stores again or, you know, what it's actually going to look like, how it's going to, you know, what the format is going to be. But this one training isn't going to do anything because as we know, as everybody should know, these attitudes, these mind frames take a very long time to i guess set in yeah you know like it, it's created over a lifespan it's actually the, it's almost like uh, the same conversation we have about uh police officers and law enforcement reform mm-hmm. most of them um are you know most of the uh, most i guess people who become police officers what 20 23 24 25 26 27 they're in their mid 20s mm-hmm. or late 20s right when they've been internalizing the same stuff everyone else has for 20 20, 20, 22, 23 years. It's yeah. not going to just go away because exactly. they put on a uniform and because they went to police academy. And a lot of these mind frames, they're just going to stay no matter what. Because you know how people are, especially when they are exposed to like new information, uh, just a new way of thinking about something, a different vantage point. They dig their heels in. That's just that's just human behavior. So, again, I agree that it's a good training and maybe it might open some minds to, you know, some people that have an open mind, open heart, Mm -hmm. you know, maybe it might change some, some, some different, um, I guess, perspectives. Um, but I think what's better is actually punishment. I, that's what I think is better. Oh, like so if you, oh, you mean as like, uh, kind of to buttress the training a bit. Yes. Like, like, Hey, if you, you know, are, uh, caught doing X, Y, yes. Z, you, yes. there's going to be some punch, but maybe, I mean, maybe that's a part of it. Cause it it should not, be. Like I said, you're not going to, you're not going to root it out, especially all in one afternoon, even in multiple afternoons, you're not going to root it out. But what you can do is prevent the behavior from happening. So even if you have some people that have these different types of uh you know thoughts about different people of color or whatever different backgrounds or what have you they won't exhibit that behavior at work because their job is going to be in jeopardy that's what i think needs to happen